Have you seen these things called bottle cap necklaces? I think some of them call them snap caps. Um, my girls have been wanting some and they said a lot of their classmates at school were starting to make them so they wanted to make some of their own and so I did some research and we finally got all the stuff and we made them last night so thought we'd share what we made and how to make them. A lot of people aren't really sharing on YouTube how to make these things I guess because a lot of people are trying to sell them but they're so easy to make on your own you can make them yourself. Um, what we did first was on eBay, we bought these um, flat ones. Let me find them real quick. We bought a package of 50 of these. What these are are flattened bottle caps. They're already flattened, so for their younger friends, it's kind of nice because it's a smoother finish to them. Now, they're still a bottle cap, so they're still a choking hazard for those under three, but um, these are a lot smoother, so these were really easy for my eight-year-old to put together all by herself. So she used these along with these clear stickers. This one came with a set of 50, and so these stickers just peel off and stick right on top. So what we did was we took a piece of scrapbook paper and a hole punch. I have a one inch hole punch, and these are one inch bottle caps. So you punch out with the scrapbook paper, one inch paper circle. Excuse me, so she did the circle, and then she stuck the letters on it, and then she stuck the sticker on top of it. Then on the back, you stick a little washer, and she glued that on with the E6000. So that was really the easiest way to make these. She made all of these last night, probably in about 30 minutes. Um, I had to kind of glue on the magnets, because those are a little tricky. But um, she made all these little bottle caps with all these initials in about 30 minutes last night. She even left some of them plain. This was just a scrapbook paper, and it had a flower in the middle of it. And she stuck a sticker right on top of it. So that's how you make bottle cap necklaces the easiest way. Now we also tried some other things because she wanted these little rhinestones in here. And I think we've figured out this is our favorite way. I'll show that one in a minute. The first way we tried was using the melting pot, this Ranger melting pot. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. But that melting pot um, with the ultra thick embossing powder. And it was okay, but when it melts, it turns a little bit on the yellow side. So, for example, when we poured it into this, it's like a resin. It, it is more like a thick resin kind of material. It has a really nice finished look to it. So, she does like it. Um, I just didn't care too much for the little bit of yellowing effect that it seemed to have. Um, so we moved on from that and went on to what's called glossy accents. And this one I liked a lot better. So I think we're going to stick with that if she's going to do rhinestones on some of these. It dries clear, it dries shiny, and it doesn't take away from the glitter sticker at all. And it still holds the paper completely in place inside of the bottle cap. Now these bottle caps, in order to use the resin or the right or the higher rhinestones in it. What we got instead are the regular bottle caps. Now, an important feature to get is when you order these on eBay, make sure you're getting them from an eBay seller that is selling bottle caps with no liner. You see there's silver in the middle. There's no paper or wax lining in here. They're completely silver, um, so you don't have to worry about the, the edges with the liners. So, um, we we got a hundred of these and again that was really cheap on eBay and that's what you want to use if you're going to be using glossy accents or the UD. So she did a whole bunch of those. Here's an M with a pink and so that one turned out really cute as well. So how these work is we bought these actually from another lady on Etsy.com. She sells these. They're really easy to make but I just did not feel like sewing all of these because they have a lot of friends they want to give these out to. So all you do is loop a washer through it and um, it stretches and it's your necklace. So that's just a metal washer and then of course the backs of these all have a magnet and it snaps on. So there's an A. And so the little girl can wear this as a bracelet or she can wear it as a necklace. And then if she's wearing something else the next day, say she wants something with yellow or here I have some others put together. Here's a yellow and green one. This one was done with the ultra thick embossing powder. So it has a really nice thick heavy feel to it. Um, this one has a D in it. 
So again, that one's really cute. And again, these just snap, snap off. And you can snap on this other one if you wanted to. So they can change out whatever they're wearing every day. You know, girls have to have an accessory for every day of the week, practically. So um, here's a couple more she did. This one has an E in it. This one's a G. So they just come off and they can interchange them however they want. So I hope that gives you some tips on how to make these yourself. They are so easy to do. They're so fast. It's really an easy craft to do with your little ones. Um, my 10-year-old helped us punch them out um, and stick the stickers on. And then my 8-year-old is the one who actually made all of these yesterday within 30 minutes. So um, I hope you all have fun doing it. Thanks for watching.